Here on the Hintatuxa Glacier, located in Tyrol, up above 3,000 meters, one can enjoy a stunning panorama and get a taste of the feeling of freedom. If we look closer at the glacier though, we recognize obvious imprints of climate change. This concerns all ski areas worldwide. Snow becomes less and less. The company Steyr, located in Schwalenthal, Germany, owner of 70 partly international patents, decided to tackle this problem. The engineers developed an innovative machine that enables a better and more durable usage of the snow base for the future. The basis of every ski area is of course snow. We divide between different shapes of snow crystals. On the one hand, the natural snow crystals which emerge from clouds and are much branched. On the other hand, the short-grained snow gained from snow guns. That kind of snow is very important for ski areas. The rounder the snow grains, the closer they can locate it next to each other and the lesser voids exist. These factors result in a highly solid slope that withstands a great amount of skiers and always provides the same conditions. Often in the Alps, there blows a warm wind called fern. This wind takes the warm air to the voids located in between the snow crystals. The warm air in the voids causes the snow to melt and therefore results in the slope losing its solidness. The snowcat rolls over the short grain snow and this is how the slope is formed in the first place. The snowcat has two big roller, one on the left side and one on the right and therefore presses downward by weight of mass. In the middle though, it leaves a trace, resulting in the slope not being perfectly even. And this is where the snow compactor comes into play. The snow compactor is basically a vibration plate. Because of the vibration of the plate, the snow grains slide very closely together and leave almost no space for any voids. For that reason, the slope is more resistant against the weather and particular the warm wind. Withstands a great amount of skiers and always provides the same conditions for everybody, all of which is especially important for the ski races. Now let's have a closer look at the snow compactor. The innovative part about the snow compactor is its structure. This is not a conventional vibrating plate. Inside the snow compactor there are crankshafts which rotate and generate a vibration. This vibration transfers into the slope and densifies it. Thus the snow grains slide more and more closely together resulting in a highly solid unit which is very important among others for the alpine races. A conventional vibrating plate spreads its energy in all directions and it's therefore inefficient. For example, the shaking spreads onto the machine which is undesired. The snow compactor concentrates its energy only downward. Consequently, the snow compactor is more efficient, saves fuel and has a high effectiveness. The Alpine Racing is very interested in this technology. This is Nubu, a ski trainer from Japan who used to train the Japanese national ski team. Nubu, why is the snow compactor interesting for you? In Japan we have a lot of snow, but if we train with children, the snow conditions are often too soft. As a result, I was always looking for a machine that would make the slopes harder. During my search on the internet, I came across the company Steyr, as well the snow compactor. So, as we have heard, the snow compactor is usable for all kinds of snow and especially interesting for the race sport. Confirmed by international experts, it becomes apparent 
that because of the extensive intensiveness of the Schwalmthaler experts, led by Jürgen Steer, not only problems concerning road constructions and civil engineering are being solved.